Hello, dear parents, my name is Keith Turner and I'm the planetarium director for Carmel Clay Schools. And I'm also the school district's astronomy instructor. Hey, I wanted to just take a minute to introduce myself and talk about the class a little bit. Your child is taking astronomy this year. So this is my 28th year of teaching and 24th year here at Carmel High School running the planetarium. My entire career, I've run a planetarium. And you can probably guess, I'm very excited about later this school year, April 8th, 2024, at 3.06 p.m., there's a total solar eclipse. Hopefully you guys will be back from spring break ready to observe that. One of the things I'm doing during the course is training your children how to observe it safely. All right, so astronomy class, we're going to learn about the night sky all semester on and off. We'll start from Earth as a topic and the motions of Earth and how we see the night sky. We'll study the sun. We'll talk about the solar system. We'll learn about our galaxy. We'll have topics like the lives of stars, the different types of stars there are, uh, why some stars like the sun are a very uh, stable star and other stars like Betelgeuse uh, will explode and make a black hole. So it's some really cool topics that we'll cover during the year. And we've already gone outside and observed the sun safely. So I'm training your students, your kids on how to do that. Uh, they'll all get a pair of solar eclipse shades this semester. Okay, so a little bit of logistics for you guys. This is my Canvas page, and I'm going to click on Modules. And I have uh, several things here to look at. Uh, underneath this one, it says first day of astronomy class. There's a resource page. Sometimes I have parents who want to know more about uh, the possibility of buying their child a telescope for Christmas or for the holidays. And there's a resource under that that talks about how to purchase a telescope, some good ideas. So one of the things I wanted to show you, uh, I click on this module. And it just, the way I lay out the modules, it's kind of an overview of what we do each day in class. And any kind of handout that I give out, let's say your child's absent, there'll be a link in the module where they can download and look at that handout. We do have a textbook for the course. And one of the really cool things our publisher slash author allows us to do, I can also post the readings on Canvas as a PDF. So let's say a student wants to take the book home and read at home, that's fine. Uh, as long as they have a laptop or their Chromebook, they uh, can find the pages if we need to look at some part of the book during class, they'll be able to look at it on their laptop or their Chromebook. All right, as far as uh, if you go over here to the left and we talk about class policies, it says syllabus. A syllabus is more like I teach college class for IU and a syllabus is more of a college thing where we show each day exactly what we're going to do. In terms of a syllabus, it's kind of how we have it laid out in modules. In the modules, I'll have each day what we're doing. But I wanted you to look at this under the syllabus tab. You can see my uh, email. We do have a website that tells you more about our planetarium. We literally have one of the uh, finest planetariums in the entire country. Uh, we have a star projector called a Godot Kronos that makes a beautiful star field. And so one of the things we do with that is show your uh, children how the night sky could look here in Carmel if we got rid of all the light pollution. Okay, so my rules are pretty simple. Use common sense. Be respectful to each other. Be respectful to me. Listen. Um, one of the biggest uh, 
things that happens when when students do get in trouble uh, with their grade is they're not using class time wisely. On a typical class, I'll have the last 30 minutes where we can work on a lab assignment in class and students can work on their own. They can ask questions to each other and then I'm available so they can come ask me questions. And I really encourage them to reach out to me if they have questions. If they have questions they don't understand, send me an email. I'd be glad to help them and find extra time to work with them. Um, I will tell you, being the district's planetarium director, my schedule is a little different in that in the middle of the day, I still have uh, school groups. Like I have all the districts first grade. I have all the districts fifth grade. We may have all the districts fourth grade this year. We'll see. And we're starting a new sixth grade uh, planetarium program. So I have lots of our district school groups coming through in the middle of the day. So I'm not always available for SRT. So I, I tell students this the first day so that they can email me and we can find a time to meet. Another thing they need to be able to do is, I'll hold this up here. Here's a scientific calculator. That's the, that's the one I recommend if they don't have it. But please check with your child and make sure that they have a calculator that will do scientific notation. Um, it will do powers of 10 and they need to bring it to class. When we do quizzes or tests, they have to put away their cell phones. In fact, I collect them in, in a pouch up front. Um, all right. So my email address is here at the top. I really encourage you to email me, wkturner at ccs.k12.in.us. I especially appreciate email if you're upset instead of giving me a call, but you're always welcome to call me too. Um, okay, so we're underway. We're four weeks into the semester. Uh, I've got four sections of astronomy. Things are going pretty well. The, the way I keep grades is I keep Canvas up to date during the day. And then at the end of each day, the grades are pushed uh, out to PowerSchool. I'm guessing PowerSchool is what you guys look at the most. I will tell you this, because this may save some uh, anguish and hurt feelings. Uh, when assignments are due and a student has not turned in an assignment, the default goes to zero now. And sometimes that really gets people upset. What I have found is if I leave it blank and it doesn't count against their grade, often they won't do anything or they wait to the last minute. So can they still turn in an assignment? Yes. Will they get docked a little bit for being late? Yes. That's also here in my syllabus. But they'll still get most points for turning an assignment in. So if you get a chance, ask your child to look through my class policies. Uh, I did this the first week. I asked them to sign a, a lab safety and conduct policy that they agree to my class policies. And I also ask for you as a parent to sign off on them also, because it's important for me to communicate to you what, what are my policies and expectations during the class. So hopefully you had a chance to look these over. All right, now more fun stuff. If we go back to modules, one of the cool things that we're doing like today in class, if I click on this, we're learning about uh, today is August 30th and we happen to have tonight and tomorrow morning we have a super moon, which is also a blue moon, the second full moon during a month. So hope ask your students uh, what they know about that. And I encourage them to go outside and look up hopefully take you outside with them and look up. And one of the cool topics uh, in our night sky that we're learning about is in the constellation Cygnus, there's a thing called Cygnus X1. It's the first confirmed black hole. A lot of cool topics. Uh, it's fast and furious during this semester. This is an advanced science course. 
So some of your children may be challenged really a lot, maybe for the first time in high school. But if they work with me, if they put in an effort, I think they'll be successful in the class. Well, thank you for letting me educate and teach your child. And I think we're going to have a great semester. And if you have any questions, again, please email me. Thank you very much.